Today, Putin continued to falsely claim that he is the one who has tried to resolve this conflict with Ukraine peacefully and that he but he was the one that was pushed into war. Also speaking once again as if the Russian military was winning and that the cratering Russian economy was actually strong. In your view, do you think he actually believes this? Um, hard to say, of course. Normal programming has been suspended. Please stand by for a broadcast from the United States government. Normal programming has been suspended. Please stand by for a broadcast from the United States government. Normal programming has been suspended. Please stand by for a broadcast from the United States government. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. To repeat, this is not a test. Moments ago at 10.35 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD detected the launch of 50 nuclear warheads from the Russian Federation. These missiles are expected to strike the United States within the next 20 minutes. At this time, the targets for the nuclear missiles cannot be identified. Due to this, all residents within the continental United States must seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure to radioactive fallout will result in radiation sickness, followed by death. It may only take a minute after impact for the effects of fallout to spread. If you are hearing this message and have not already done so, please head to the nearest public fallout shelter or your home fallout shelter immediately. Pack food, water, clothing, medical supplies, toiletries, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone with extra phone chargers, a hand cranked or battery powered radio with extra batteries and other survival items and head to the nearest fallout shelter or home fallout shelter immediately. The United States Air Force has begun to intercept these missiles. The president and vice president have been moved to an undisclosed location and will be speaking on all stations shortly. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the New York City area. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WNBC. We will continue to serve the New York City metropolitan area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use only. The National Emergency Alert System has been activated. Emergency update. The targets for the 50 nuclear missiles have been detected. The 50 nuclear missiles will strike the following locations within the next 20 to 30 minutes. Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, California, San Francisco, California, San Diego, California, Sacramento, California, Fresno, California, Oakland, California, Long Beach, California, Las Vegas, Nevada, Spring Valley, Nevada, New York City, New York, Buffalo, New York, Rochester, New York, Patterson, New Jersey, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, Seattle, Washington, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Louisville, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, Portland, Oregon, Boston, Massachusetts, Denver, Colorado, Dover, Delaware, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Charleston, South Carolina, Mesa, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Kansas City, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, Little Rock, Arkansas, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Orlando, Florida, Tallahassee, Florida, Miami, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, St. Paul, Minnesota, Anchorage, Alaska, Honolulu, Hawaii, Cleveland, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, 
Columbus, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Lincoln, Nebraska, Akron, Ohio, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Salt Lake City, Utah, Providence, Rhode Island, and Portland, Maine. Anyone who lives within a 300-mile radius of these areas must seek a fallout shelter immediately. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure to radioactive fallout will result in radiation sickness. Radiation sickness is serious and immediate medical attention is crucial. Without immediate medical attention, radiation sickness will cause death within several days. Symptoms of radiation sickness includes nausea, vertigo, diarrhea, drowsiness, lethargy, tremors, vomiting blood, delirium, breathing troubles, and frequent seizures. Remember the stages of a nuclear attack. The fireball, intense light, intense heat, shock wave blast, and nuclear fallout. First, the fireball. Once the nuclear bomb makes impact, the impact will create a huge fireball with a diameter of one mile. Inside the fireball, temperatures will rise to nearly 10 million degrees, instantly incinerating and vaporizing everything and anyone it touches. Second, intense light. The intense light can cause blindness if you look directly at it. However, the blindness is only temporary and lasts for only about five minutes. Next, the intense heat. Intense heat can cause third degree burns within a five to 10 mile radius of the nuclear detonation. Then, the shockwave blast. Once a nuclear missile strikes its target, the impact will generate a shockwave blast. The shockwave blast generated will cause complete annihilation of homes, businesses, buildings and other man-made structures within a 10 to 15 mile radius of the detonation, and a powerful wind gust will generate, which may cause power outages and cause shattered windows up to 300 miles of the missile's impact. Lastly, nuclear fallout. Once the nuclear missile's impact, radioactive materials will be catapulted and thrown into the atmosphere, which will lead to radiation sickness and an agonizing death within several days to anyone exposed. After a nuclear explosion, the outside world within 100 miles of the initial explosion will be extremely dangerous and unsafe, as the outside air will be polluted with radioactive materials. Once the nuclear missiles strike their targets, do not go outside until the all clear is given, or unless absolutely necessary. Do not panic. Panicking will only make this situation worse. If you are hearing this message and have not already done so, please head to the nearest public fallout shelter, or your home fallout shelter immediately. Pack food, water, clothing, medical supplies, toiletries, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone with extra phone chargers, a hand cranked, or battery powered radio with extra batteries, and other survival items, and head to the nearest fallout shelter or home fallout shelter immediately. All attempts to intercept these missiles have failed. This is an attack warning. An attack warning means that a full-scale nuclear attack from another country has been commenced against this country and that all protective action needs to be taken immediately to protect your life. The President and Vice President have been moved to an undisclosed location and will be speaking on all stations shortly. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable system shall transmit this emergency action notification message. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the New York City area. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WNBC. We will continue to serve the New York City metropolitan area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use only. The National Emergency Alert System has been activated. At this time, a national emergency has been declared in the United States. Please do not turn off your television. Stand by for a message from the United States President. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, 
We have feared for decades that a day like this would become reality. We have feared that a nuclear attack would be declared against our great nation one day. As speechless as I am that such weaponry has been used upon us all, at this moment, I strongly urge all citizens to remain calm and not panic during this attack, as all we can do now is brace ourselves. We have been through tough times in this country before, and I promise we can all get through this if we all work together and rebuild. For now, I strongly encourage all Americans to do the following instructions to protect yourself and the others around you. Gather plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio to bring with you to your fallout shelter to keep yourself healthy and updated with the latest information. Make sure to cover all cracks and windows with tape, damped clothing, or damp towels. Stay inside and do not go outdoors until the all-clear is given or unless absolutely necessary. The fallout will remain in the area for several days, perhaps months, maybe even a year. However, during these tough times, we shall fight until the end, as one. We will overcome our fear of this attack and remain victorious against our enemies. Whoever has hurt our country shall be hurt with twice the fury by us. The enemy shall be punished until the very end, and we will show no mercy. While we may be crippled by this attack, America will never be broken. On that note, my fellow Americans, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. That was a message from the President of the United States. This is WNBC, and we will continue to serve the New York City area. If you are not in this area, you should now tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the New York City area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The National Emergency Alert System has been activated. We will now conclude with the playing of our national anthem. God bless the United States of America, and may God have mercy on our souls. <laughs>